Hey there everybody, just got a package from Amazon. You can see I already ripped it. Let's get it out of there. Okay. It says Fiskars Finland 9 inch hatchet. There it is. Now it's marked Gerber. I don't know if Gerber makes it and it's just from the city of Fiskars or if it's made at the actual like Fiskars plant that makes uh, a lot of knives and axes and hatchets. It says Fiskars Finland right here stamped on it, but then it also has the Gerber trademark there. And I actually have another one of these and I really liked it, but it's packed away right now. And it was too difficult to get to, so I ended up ordering another one. Besides, I wanted another one anyhow, but picked up one more. So there you go. This cardboard just comes out. This kooky piece of plastic here, which I don't really care for, but it does the job, is the sheath. You can see it even has a belt loop on it. So you can wear this on your side. It also has this like little handle. If you just want to carry it or strap it onto your pack. But it works really well. You just drop the uh, hatchet down in there. And then this twists over it. And you hear that click. It's locked in place and ain't going nowhere. It does make a little noise though. In that it's a hard plastic sheath. But you could just wear that on your belt. It's kind of obviously quite bright. Now this hatchet... Uh, is nine inches. I think the head of it, the blade right here, is just under three inches. But we'll get some measurements. And uh, let me see what else. It has a fiberglass reinforced hollow plastic handle, and it's actually just made right onto the head of this. So it's probably not going anywhere. And I've never seen anybody have any issues with this, not even in the winter time. So it seems like this reinforced plastic really holds up. And because it is hollow, you could put survival items down in there, almost like a survival knife. And it also has a hole for a lanyard. You just have to figure out something to cork the bottom with, which wouldn't be too hard. Now this isn't really designed, obviously, for taking down big trees. It's not a felling axe. It's just a little splitter for splitting little logs and things like that. But I'm, the pommel's hardened on it. This is metal right here, so you can actually hammer with it. And the blade's fairly sharp, considering it has like a black powder coat on it. And it's still fairly sharp, right out of the pack. It definitely is sharp as you'd ever need a hatchet. But I like that it's kind of forward heavy too, because of all of the weight being up here at the front. And then it's got that little swoop to give you that extra grip down here. So if you put a, a lanyard on it and wrap it around your wrist, this ain't going nowhere. Neat little lightweight hatchet. And I think it's just under two pounds. And, uh, yeah, it's really nice. What else was I going to say? It's a neat little belt hatchet, extra tiny for small chores. Like, if you don't want to beat your knives up batoning with them, you could do the splitting with this and then save your knives for finer work. And, it, it I mean, you may not want to carry a couple extra pounds, but it seems like it wouldn't be that big of a deal in most cases. You can choke up real high on it. Do some carving, perhaps, even though that's a very thick blade. But they have a version where this blade is gray, and I think that's exactly what this is. This just has like a black powder coat type paint on it. But it's the same steel and everything. I've seen some where the Gerber branding is slightly different. And then there's an orange-handled one that actually says Fiskars. It has the black blade with the orange handle and it looks great. And the only trouble with these is trying to find aftermarket sheaths for them if you don't want to use this. 
it's really difficult. It seems like every sheath is either too small or too too big. It's one or the other. And the thing is, is they sell a version of this that comes with this little plastic sheath, like blade guard, and then it has like a bungee cord that wraps around, kind of crisscross, and it stays on. I'd love to get that for this. But the only way to do it is to purchase that whole hatchet, and I really don't want that other hatchet. So that kind of sucks. I do have a rubber blade guard from a different uh, axe that I have, and I might just throw that on here and then maybe figure out how to make a sheath out of it if I don't feel like carrying this. I mean, this is super lightweight. It's just, I don't know, it just doesn't speak to me. It's not cool like leather or kydex or something. Even that other one, I think it's the same kind of green plastic, but it's stamped Gerber, and it's just lightweight, and it's small, and the way it wraps around the blade just looks a lot cooler, in my opinion, than this big old hunky thing, you know? Although that other one, you can't wear it on your belt, and this one you can, so... And it locks in, you know? So, I mean, there's a give and take with everything. But let's get some measurements. You're looking at just a hair, about nine and a quarter, maybe nine and an eighth, right at this bottom edge. And the head of it is about five and an eighth. And then the blade itself is two and three quarters. Not quite three, right in there. So a decent little hatchet. Okay, let's do a paper cutting test. I've got a sheet of printer paper here. And here's the little hatchet straight out of the package. Not too bad. Got a tiny little blade. And it will cut paper. Yeah, just like my other one, came about the exact same level of sharpness. Well, that's all I have to say about this little Gerber's hatchet. What's great about it is it's just another quality tool made in Finland. And they, they hold up for years, and they're just, they do what they were meant to do, you know? They're neat little tools. And I like how tiny it is, especially if weight is an issue. And you don't want to get into carrying too much stuff. I like to carry a knife. And it, I got all kinds of different blades to carry. But if I don't feel like carrying a big chopper on a certain day, I might just carry like the, uh, I think it's the Charava Strama, Jakari Puko, something like that. Yeah, it's the, uh, Taraba Jakari Puko. The Skrama is the big machete type blade. This is the Carbon Jakari Puko. And I have this in stainless steel also. This is another great knife from Finland. Scandi grind. I got some oil on it. You can see I've used it a little bit. And it's got a little bit of a patina starting to happen on the blade there. It's full tang, it goes clear through the handle, has that same hard, grippy rubber, rubber, and it's got a great sheath, and talk about a cool little set, you know, that's a neat little bushcraft set right there, head out in the woods, trying to find the picture that makes it, that's pretty cool. That's a neat little set there. How about Austrian meets Finland? <laughs> Got the Glock 78 field knife here in black with the black Gerber little hatchet. That's a neat little set up there. Well, that's all I have for this video. This is Joe Doomsday signing out.